for several years, I've either been using my home office to work remotely or as my primary place of business. So with more of you working from home, I reached out to friends that also work from home to collaborate on a list of the essential software we use to complete various tasks and to be more productive. This video will be more informative than instructive, showing both paid and free programs that will help make working from home easier for you. Let's get started. If you work from home, having a powerful office suite is an absolute necessity. Right now, the top dog is Microsoft Office. With it, you get various tools, including the word processor called Microsoft Word, Excel for doing spreadsheets, PowerPoint for presentations, and their email, calendar, and task manager application, Microsoft Outlook. Office 365 Personal will set you back around $70 per year for one user, and the Home Edition is around $100 per year for up to six users. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Chromebook. If you'd prefer a one-time purchase, Office Home and Student 2019 is around $150 and limits you to only one Windows or Mac computer, with less apps and features included than Office 365. If you're looking for a free Office suite, our favorite is LibreOffice. It has good compatibility with Microsoft Office and includes alternatives to Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, but does not include a substitute for Microsoft Outlook. More on that coming up. LibreOffice is available for download on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Another alternative to consider is the completely free Microsoft Office Online. Because it's web-based, you can easily use it on any device, making it great for collaboration. While lacking some of the advanced features most people would never use, file compatibility is excellent with the desktop version of Microsoft Office. Not included with the free Office suites is an Outlook alternative. So if you need a free cross-platform email client for Windows, Mac, or Linux, Thunderbird is what I recommend. It was originally developed by the Mozilla Foundation, the makers of the Firefox browser. Thunderbird supports unlimited email accounts and syncs easily with most email providers like Gmail and Outlook to name a few. It also includes a ton of features including tabbed email, a dark theme, and support for add-ons that increase the functionality of Thunderbird. When working from home, having a screenshot tool with a ton of features will make your life easier. ShareX is what I use, it's available for Windows 7, 8.1, and 10. I'll have a pick for Linux and Mac coming up. ShareX is free and open source and includes various methods to capture your screen along with annotation tools to mark up your image. ShareX blows away the screenshot tools built into the Windows operating system with a lot more choices when capturing your screen. In addition to full screen, you can capture any open window, a specific monitor, there are various ways to capture a region, and it even lets you record your screen. Alternatives for ShareX on other operating systems include Shutter for Linux, and for macOS, there's Sketch from Evernote, which is available in the App Store. Todoist is not only great for your home life, it can help you to stay organized in your work life too. It keeps track of all your tasks, projects, and goals that can even be synced across all your devices. It's completely free to use with their basic service. If you plan to collaborate with others and want additional features, their premium plan is $3 per user per month, and for larger groups, their business plan is $5 per month per user. Todoist is available for Windows and Mac, with apps for both iOS and Android, and browser extensions for Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. When working remotely, communication is one of the biggest hurdles you'll have to overcome. Slack is an excellent instant messaging platform that's especially useful when working with the team on a specific project. Not only is it highly customizable, you can integrate it with more than 2,000 collaboration and office tools from its app directory with Slack. The free option for Slack has too many restrictions to recommend using it. The standard plan is where most groups want to start. Its cost is $6.67 per active user per month. Slack is available for Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, and Android. VLC Media Player is a must-have program I recommend that everyone have installed on their computer. It's great for those times when you need to play an audio or video file type that can't be played with the media player that comes with your operating system. VLC is free and open source with excellent file format support, and unlike some of its competitors, it's ad-free and does not track its users. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. If you're looking for video conferencing software, you have many choices. There is GoToMeeting, Cisco WebEx Meetings, and Google Hangouts Meet to name a few. My personal favorite I've been using for many years is good old Skype. It has cross-platform support for Windows, Mac, and Linux. 
While most people use it for one-on-one -on -one video calls, it's also a great solution for video conferences of up to 50 people free of charge. In recent weeks, Zoom Meetings has been gaining in popularity due to its pricing, features, and overall ease of use. In the days leading up to the production of this video, there have been many concerns regarding Zoom's privacy and possible security flaws. So it might be best to hold off using Zoom for now until they can get their act together. A must-have program, especially if you work from home, is a reliable file sync and cloud storage service. OneDrive is what I use. It lets you store, share, and sync your files across multiple devices. It's available for Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. OneDrive with their basic plan will give you 5 gigabytes of storage for free, and 100 gigabytes is just $1.99 per month. If you subscribe to Office 365 Personal, one terabyte is included, and with Office 365 Home, you get one terabyte per person for up to six people. Other services to consider include Google Drive, which gives you 15 gigabytes for free. It's available for Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS. Dropbox is not so generous, offering 2 gigabytes of storage for free, but in addition to Microsoft, Mac, iOS, and Android, it's also available for Linux. And for a fully featured backup solution, iDrive is what I use. It will backup your entire drive's settings, programs, files and folders, and it will even copy the operating system. The basic plan will give you 5 gigabytes for free, and it's available for Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, and Android. Thanks for watching. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up. If you already work from home, please share in the comments the programs you use that might be beneficial for others. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest in technology here on Tech Gumbo.